Is it, is it recording? Yeah. I'm Toby. Hey guys, um, we're here at Spalcom 2023. Wanna be race car BRZ that we built for SEMA. And come here, come here, come here. Oh yeah, we sell cages for A90. Can't even sub two in this car right now. <laughs> And action. All right, what's up, guys? It's Saturday, August 12th. We're here set up with uh, Spocom. We got the whole booth set up. Right here, obviously, we're going to be advertising our roll bar. Anybody who watches this video, I'll still be able to advertise our 350 off for our roll cages. Major major car up front, we have Jay's BRZ, uh, the one that we built for SEMA. Uh, new livery. A lot of people haven't seen this car. It's been in the works, but we finally got it finished. It's inspired by the Mona Lisa, if you're familiar with the Tokyo Drift, uh, Fast and Furious Drift car. So yeah, we got a couple of bits here. Here. We also got Jarrell's car, uh, Super MK5 on Instagram. Pretty pretty well-known car, obviously. We have my Supra as well. We had a little mix-up. There was supposed to be a G80, but he wasn't able to make it, so instead we put my car. And then we also got Danny's BRZ, which is uh, more of a show build. Um, we wanted to kind of mix up and show. We obviously cater towards the track scene. We also cater towards the show scene and other cars as well. So if you uh, are here and seeing this, obviously we appreciate anybody who says uh, uh, hi and stops by and you know uh, definitely looking forward to working with all you guys 350 off hey the wheel clear. what's lighter our chromoly cage or jaycray <laughs> we're gonna test it out there's that dude i think i'm i'm lighter okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's not chromoly huh? this is chromoly right here <laughs> this is we need to find um Customers that has 3 hours arcade. Uh, no, we're gonna take a guessing game. So, before we proceed, in the comment section below, guess how many cars are at the show with one of our cages. All right, my guess is probably around 20 to 25 cars. Uh, we do have a lot of clients here in SoCal, so, even in NorCal. So, yeah, comment down below uh, how many cages you think <laughs> our, our cars are in. So we're already approaching our first car, easily spotted, well-known car here, here in SoCal. Uh, known, goes by Sinister, NSX on Instagram. Um, from what I could tell, he already has a new wheel setup. I think these are the Volt 21Cs or 21As, if I'm not mistaken. But take a look, you got a yellow roll cage. And then with the NSX, with the NSX, it also is two-piece with like the rear brace that goes over the engine bay. So it's a really good connection piece as well. So walking up, we have our second NSX right here. Hold on, we gotta redo this, but I... And then walking up on the other side of the show, we also got Vern's NSX right here, uh, satin blue. Uh, this one has, I believe it's like a dark gray cage. Um, this one was like one of the first ones that we did. Um, but it's always good seeing his car at the shows and freaking looks, looks amazing. Is this a Focus RS? A ST, right? Just a couple of spots over, we have this yellow Focus RS. Also has a yellow cage as well. As you can see, Jay is doing a live demonstration on the CAE shifter that is now offered for the GR Corolla. So, this is also one of our newest development cages for the GR Corolla. Daniel's oh cars, God. one of the many projects that we work on. So we also got Dana's RCF, which right. was the... What? Dana's RCF, which was also the development car for the six point that we did for this RCF. Um, this one's in a chalk gray color. Uh, pretty much a whole new look, but RCF, uh, yeah, Dana's car has always been uh, pretty much a big project, especially in the SoCal car scene. And then here in this line, we have two of our cages installed on uh, some of our NorCal buddies. This is Gil from HHWHH Collectibles. So any collectibles, uh, Hot Wheels and stuff like that, definitely the guy to go to, one of my good buddies. But yeah, this is uh, one of the first ones that we did. It's in a like uh, a silver scheme, but goes well with all of his uh, pretty much like authentic Mugen parts and uh, ties in the whole build all together. And then next to the FK8 is also, if you've been watching our Instagram, we recently installed this cage maybe about a month ago. It's uh, Will's Laguna Seca um, F80 M3. It was previously on BBS's, but now he just picked up a set of uh, TE37. So in bronze on the Laguna Seca, it looks amazing. And then he also has a, a paint match Laguna Seca uh, blue cage as well. 
And then just a couple of spots over, uh, we have kind of like a special, I guess you could say announcement. This is our buddy Mendy, also from HHWHH. This is his Civic FL5 Type R. Now I know you guys may be guessing, wait, you guys have an FL5 Type R cage? This is where we're announcing it. So we're actually gonna be using his car. We are now gonna be launching pre-orders and development for the FL5 Type R. So now there's gonna be an FK8 and there's also gonna be an FL5. So that cage should be probably done with the development within the next uh, couple of months, definitely for the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. So behind me, we probably have, in my opinion, like the coolest duo. Um, they're one of our good customers. They're husband and wife combo. Liberty Walk, both Liberty Walk, CA and GTR. So randomly walking deeper into the show, we came across this GTR. Looked like it had a roll cage. I personally didn't know, but it is one of our roll cages and this thing is sick. It's got like custom wheels. It's got like engraved lips and then a crazy livery on it. I can't even tell. It's like a, like a copper burgundy color change wrap. It's like freaking sick. Next up, we also have Steven's A90 Supra. It's an HKS white body Supra sporting some new wheels. Looks like they're three PC 28s. Oh no, I think they're actually called bulk GTP, B, GTPs. Uh, but yeah, he has our signature uh, half cage and rear brace as well. So I was wrong. I make mistakes too. I looked it up. It's a Volk GTN, not a GTP. Here we also have uh, Dez's uh, Panda white body GR86 slash BRZ with our V1 roll cage, uh, sporting I believe is Enos Tech Midnight Red, and then also has these custom three piece wheels as well with his white cage. So we're walking through the show and looking at a lot of these cars, there's a really, really, really big problem. There's a lot of things missing in all of these cars. For example, come to this one. Beautiful, version one, Rocket Bunny, FRS, BRZ, it's got the new T's on it and everything. But, he's missing one thing. Insert a clip of the interior. What happens if you roll over? What happens if you get into an accident? You got nothing to protect you. You need a cage, and that's what we're here for. Get a cage in your car. You know the color, what's the color of this? What's that? What's the color of it? We did a double, kind of a double dip. We did okay. a um, black silver. Okay. Had kind of a like a base uh, coat. Base coat on it, and then we did a clear or a candy blue okay. over the top of that. Nice. So this pretty much matches like the other blue that you have, like with the wheels. Yes, yeah, it's okay. trying to mimic as much as it's nice. How long did it take you to do the interior? I got about six months into the interior of okay. the whole thing. Is this Alcantara or Suede? It's Alcantara and Suede. Okay, yeah. nice. Awesome. Yeah, this thing's super neat. I love the blue. Yeah, but see, another car equipped with one of our roll cages, so definitely, definitely up to standard. Yeah, let me press the button real quick and make it a little better.
our off-road category for third place, Red. up the show we just finished the awards and by uh, no surprise J1 first place FRS BRZ GT86 GR86 86 chassis first place award here at Spocom Jay get over here <laughs> now, took home first baby it. all you right yeah That's so shout out to everybody shout out to all the guys who put on all the work all the techs everybody who supplied parts all of the major sponsors pretty much big old kudos to you guys you know for making it happen so it's definitely a pleasure for it being displayed here on behalf of studio rsr you know obviously we had a very big impact with creating this car but it wasn't for everybody else and all of their hard work for making this happen and to many more awards coming over in the future and then after a long day, we started here at 7 a.m. roughly. It's almost 11 p.m. Uh, we're gonna be knocking everything down. That's it for Spocom 2023. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.